The aim of the anti-fouling activity experiments is to establish the presence of natural products that may inhibit the surface colonization of organisms by bacteria. Culture media are prepared with marine agar and marine broth. We make an homogeneous solution of the media and this is heated to the boiling point. The culture medium is sterilized by using an autoclave. Once sterilized with the autoclave, the culture medium is spread on the plates, always under sterilized conditions. These media are kept at 4 Celsius degrees in the fridge until used. For this experiment, we need to obtain a culture in marine broth of a pure bacterial strain coming from a seawater sample. This sample was collected in the sampling area of Deception Island. This is the most tricky part of the experiment, since after trying different temperature cultures, we will be able to determine the optimal growing temperature of the microorganisms. In order to establish the antimicrobial activity spectrum, we use the method of diffusion in marine agar. Keeping in mind that we perform three replicates for each experiment, we prepare, on one hand, three blank discs with the organic extract dissolved in diethyl ether, and on the other, three blank discs just with the solvent used before, in order to see that it does not interfere in the test activity results. <laughs> While the solvent is being evaporated from the discs, we start sewing the strain previously isolated. The culture plate with marine agar is divided into four quadrants, as many as the number of discs for each replicate. Finally, we take 0.1 milliliters of marine agar culture that we spread all over the plate by using a Drigalski spreader. Three replicates for each experiment are performed. The discs are placed on the agar surface with a culture, one in each quadrant. One blank disc as a negative control, one disc with the extract, one disc with just the solvent, one disc with chloramphenicol as a positive control. We leave it incubating for an 18 24 hour time period in the optimal growing temperature. After the incubation period with a graduated brew, the inhibition halo that may have appeared around each of the discs is measured, making notes of the results, which will be processed later at the University of Barcelona. <laughs>